don't know how to get into the sewers though. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I have absolutely no clue. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is it the river? It's just the, the, the sewers were going towards the river, the ocean. Or whatever. So I need to find a place along the, the coast? Somewhere? Where I can get into the, the water system? Maybe? Maybe along here or along there? Hmm. But I've been along these places looking for caves and I couldn't find any caves. Oops, sorry, that's a wrong button and a half. Hmm. I do not know how to get into the sewer system. I genuinely don't have a clue. Because I thought it would be there or somewhere along here. Okay, I can't get to it from here. There are apparently multiple ways on this side from um, Ross Estate, the barracks, something down here. There, there, there are multiple ways. The, the crux of the matter is I can't get to it from here. So I'm just going to have to come back to it later. Let's just go see Cat with my uh, ill-gotten gains. I'm sure she'll appreciate this, although can we really be doing something with this dude just looming over our shoulder? Here! Here's what I stole, right in full view of Hi, this guy. Hello again. Oh god, what button have I pressed to make these outlines appear? Did you find them? So they've acquired something she'll most certainly be interested in. Then the vault is real. I can't believe it. What did you find? Do show me, please. <laughs> again, cat, this dude is full on just staring at you. Let's have a long awaited look. Oh god, um well. Cup of Kings, Portrait of the Divine, and this, Skull of Eternity. I found you. Hello? Who found me? And why? Again! This time I'll find you. Oh, you won't. And so I finally have all three. Seven bless you for your troubles. Although no greater blessing really than lots and lots of precious things. Holy shit. Okay. Um, do I have mace? Magical riveted armor. I can't tell if that's good for beast or not. How dreadfully hmm. crowded these rooms have become. One so yearns for the calm of earlier days. I don't know if that's good or not. What on earth have I pressed? This is where I push every button to find the one I pushed to get the outlines to disappear. I don't remember how to get rid of oh, There we go, the tilt key. Whew. So, we need to come clean on, up because we've got so much crap going on here. Now it's by the doctor that his fish is available. I really don't know what that means. And what I'm supposed to do with it. Yeah, dagger. Ooh, that's nice. I um, found you. I found you. We'll lose the crippled, but still. More damage overall. So yeah, take out the magic. You'll never find me. Hush, you lot. You're making a lot of noise. That's better than the long shank. But you don't have the stats. That's barely anything. Ah, uh, except you've got your face on, so not really of you. I found you. you. <sighs> Finesse is you. Again! This time uh, I'll find you. Yeah. Not a chance, Egbert. You'll never find yeah. me. Strength-based boots. 
For you there, sir. Fortified boots. Let me just do that because it's way quicker. Can I just like type in nails? Make it so difficult to find things. Are you nails? How yes. dreadfully crowded these rooms have become. One so Boom. yearns for the calm of earlier days. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you say so, buddy. Oh god, you're wearing those. I keep forgetting you're wearing those. Holy shit. Did I actually read that one? No. That's the one I was missing. That I couldn't find. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. I should probably, you know, use those. Hmm. I've completely run out of scrolls at this point. The I have like zero scrolls left. God damn, I have to go buy some. Who even sells them? I don't pay attention to that shit. Boost. 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 One-handed mace, so... Green scroll, grenade, if um... Where's... Air essence. Poor butter. I wonder how you combine belts, what you would even combine them with. Nope. Heavy and clunky, that sounds like a you thing. Oh my. Oh, but I lose the strength. But you got a lot of extra physical resistance, that's for sure. Yeah, I think you could do with that. I'm just gonna give it to you. Stop. Kill your seed. Don't know what you're supposed to do with that exactly. I really have picked up a lot of crap, haven't I? More of this. God. How dreadfully crowded these rooms have become. One so yearns for calm. Raise Bone Widow. Raises a walking pile of bones which can consume corpses to restore vitality and receive a stacking damage buff. Fun. Straight magic armor with a bit of scoundrel. Ooh. Oh no, not the chameleon cloak. Hmm. Hmm. Unfortunately, I will do that. I have so many of those, it's not funny. You heard the lady. Oh, this is what I was looking at for you. So that's with the rune. Um, what's it? 11%-ish, so that's an extra 10. No, it's still going to be less. Damn. I was hoping that wouldn't be the case, but alas, it is. So, there you have it. God, so much crap. Um, cat, she seems to have disappeared. I, I want him to sell some goods. It's fine. I'll go outside and find somebody else. My surest friend is my Excuse me, Vela. All done, then. You have heaps of gold on you. Will you take stolen goods, perchance? She will take stolen goods. Nice. 
And here I am to tip my cap. Cool. She responds with an Alrighty. Fragments of history. Some of them possibly. I didn't pay attention to she sell scrolls. All done then. I need resurrection scrolls. She responds with a Hmm, who on earth am I gonna get resurrection scrolls from? Trader Adam, who I haven't actually yeah. spoken with. The man taps his foot in time to <clears throat> If you're looking for cat, she's evaluating all of Kem's antiquity That's stuff. Nice, yeah. Summon fire slug. That looks amazing, but you all with your stolen goods. Sheesh. My friend. Anybody sell resurrection scrolls? I hope you like what you see. No, literally no one sells them. I, I don't know how to make I them. My life up in a I set my course far on the map. And here I am. Resurrection scroll. Sheet of paper, friend. any water essence. Oh, okay. Apparently I do have a recipe for it and I can make them. Never mind then. Find someone else later to buy it off. Okay, well, I guess we're going to the Mikhail Ross's estate for this wedding that is obviously not happening now that this place is being attacked. I'd be very interested to know if they would still went ahead with the wedding after all of this. Surely not. Uh, across on what was the toy sellers? I still don't understand the toy seller. Uh, here's a door. Hello, royal protector. Do you mind that I'm not truly a dwarf? The royal guard's eyes widen as you approach, beast in tow. His calloused fingers reach towards the wolf insignia adorning his uniform. Marcus. Marcus Miles. Beast remains silent, though his clenched jaw reveals his resentment. He moves his hand towards his weapon. Is that his real name? Did we ever know Beast's real name? Marcus Miles. I'm going to forget that in two seconds. <laughs> Calm yourself, Marcus. You don't know me, but I know you. The rebellion lives. You're lucky to have found an ally here. You won't find many in this house, and certainly not among the Queen's regiment. That Isabel hasn't found me out is a minor miracle. It, it is actually, because this dude back here is totally listening to your conversation. So you're not very good at your job. Just in here. Is... Is she insane? <gasps> what? Already? I'm told Justin here came to express oh my. his wishes to the bride and her father. Whether the Queen's still inside, after all the commotion, I can't say. It seems the void sent some uninvited guests. Indeed. And I imagine Ross found Justinia a suitable hiding place. Uh... The guard leans closer to Beast, his voice tight. The rebellion is in danger. You are in danger. Has someone sold us out? Do not reveal yourself here, Marcus. The guards won't know you unless you announce yourself. Your rebels brave the hinterlands. They brave the wave dancer, and now they brave a poison court. They need you alive. He nods to the door, then takes the rigid stance of a proper royal guardsman. Is he telling me not to enter? Lady Augusta. I. Mm, this guy's sending uh, confused well signals. Well-dressed dwarf woman lies on the cobbles, giggling drunkenly to herself. Remember that she's too well healed to be some homeless drunk and ask what happened to her. I wish I was bloody <laughs> homeless. Then I'd be home already. <laughs> no, I was at a wedding. Beggars kicked me out. Said I was causing a scene. <laughs> the usual fuss. The groom's a local alchemist, marrying the daughter of some big shot merchant. I want to get into the wedding. Can you help me? Invitation only, I'm afraid. Okay, so are you a relative? They'd hardly kick out their own flesh and blood, would they? I barely know any of them. Friends of friends of business acquaintances. Can I take your invitation if you no longer need it? Eh? No. Uh, why would I do that? You might feel embarrassed of what happened once you sober up. If you give you my give me your invitation, we want this reminder for you to deal with in the morning. Fine, fine. Nailed take it. Take the bloody thing. Now, off with you. 
I can feel a void walk coming along. <laughs> like the way they use that as an analogy. Okay, well now we have a way to get in, kind of ish, but not. Do we even have a quest for the wedding? Oh, here we go. But isn't he giving Justinia uh, refuge? If he's giving her refuge, how, why? Why would he help us against death fog? Full disclosure, I have just consumed ice cream. And my, my lips and mouth are frozen, so I can't really articulate well. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna try and find Michael Not Ross. Oh my god, let's not press that button. That was so much oh. crap. Oh, I didn't see you there. Sorry, it's been um. God, look at the stuff. Day. Looks so expensive. You need a hand with anything? Let me know. Uh, I have an invitation to the wedding. The wedding? Oh, Duna, haven't you heard? Uh, I'm so sorry. There's there's been a tragedy. Of what kind? You can the and see for yourself. If you've the stomach for it. I'm going to assume the woodwork had attacked the, the, the wedding. Not sure how much longer I'll be here, but if you have a need of supplies, let me know. I mean, I don't really recommend you taking to the road. You'd get, like, accosted in a moment and all your shit stolen. Tell him the dwarf floor house I need to talk to Mikhail Ross. He rubs his jaw in thought and gives you a long look. Hello, all oh, right. Hello. The boss has been getting Quite messages from dwarves all over, but that is an interesting one. <sighs> He's not exactly everyone's favourite dwarf, but uh, talk to the guard at the door. I really shouldn't say any more. I'm surprised the store wasn't closed for the wedding. You and me both. Worked for Ross for a decade, and half expected an invitation of my own. But even with half of Ark's lying dead in his garden, he still wants the shop open. <laughs> then again, if I'd been at the wedding... The fact that the boss loves counting his pennies is probably the only reason I'm breathing. Fair point. You probably should be thanking your lucky stars. That said, it doesn't feel right to be orking wares with that next door. God, job's the job, though. Like and I didn't leave Arks with naught but empty pockets. Oh, Indeed. Of course, you won't find better in all of Arks. I can promise it's you that. It's more expensive by the looks Not of bad, it. Not bad, eh? Oh. I mean, what am I supposed to do with it, though? It's useless but pretty. <laughs> Why would I want this from you? That I'd be drawing breath now if I was in the garden. Take care of yourself. You too, buddy. You too. Let's go see what else. Royal protector Hello. Beast, but barely looks up from the floorboards <laughs> as she addresses him. If you're here for the wedding, there's been. There was. <clears throat> it's over now. So be on your way. Beast gives you an inquisitive look. Ah, uh, sure. Cut short, was it? Well, then you won't mind if I head in. Royal business wouldn't concern you. Look, there's been a tragedy. Bride's completely broken about it. Oh, is thing. the alchemist dead? So like I said, be on your the way. The groom, the groom alchemist, has he met an unfortunate end in the garden? Look, Missy, I'm here on Lohar's orders. He said to come and bend Mikhail Ross's ear, and I don't intend to do him wrong. She gives Beast a steady, defiant stare. A spark of recognition lights up her eyes, but is gone in a flash. Figured I knew ya. One of Lohar's, eh? You're late. But, guess that's a good thing. Maybe I could have helped if I were here on time. I'll unlock the door for ya. Thanks, lady. Do you have to really be so difficult about that? Squire. Honey Flan. I see one voidling, which doesn't really explain the desecration you're talking about. Um, but okay. So much I could steal. Milady. I beg your pardon, but the feast has been cut short due to uh, acts of gods. <laughs> the acts of gods, you say. Gods, I am so sorry. How could I have known? She looks up at you with glassy eyes, wiping her tear-streaked face on one brocade sleeve. A girl's wedding should be the happiest day of her life. Oh, shit, this is the bride. Ooh, I'm so sorry. Oh god, I don't like either of those options. Winston hesitantly offers you congratulations on her marriage. That's what happened. Why is she so miserable at her own wedding party? She looks down at her feet. Seeing her blood-spattered wedding slippers, 
Her face crumples and tears spring from her eyes. I should be so happy. Everybody should be so happy. But before we could even cut our wedding cake, there were void woken everywhere. We barely made it indoors alive. But not everyone was so lucky. I, I can hardly bear to think of them. Their wives and husbands and children back in the kingdom. Left to grieve alone. Raise your eyebrows and note that Voidboy can only appear when sources used. What are you insinuating? We're merchants, not I mean, that's a very good point to make. You should have seen those Somebody void used source. All that blood, all that death. They didn't deserve... We didn't. She buries her head in her hands, sobbing uncontrollably. Congratulations on what I assume is the demise of your husband. I... I can't accept them. I know you mean well. Oh, he's still alive. How can I celebrate now? Void woken on my wedding day. At least, at least my loving husband is still with me. I don't really see why she's up in arms. I mean, yes, I'm sure people she knew died. That's sad. But the way she was going on, I just assumed her husband was dead. She turns and waves one timid hand to her husband oh, he, on uh, the balcony. Somewhere? He offers an apathetic grunt in return. She blinks back tears from her pink-tinged eyes. An apathetic grunt. Please forgive him. Good God. He's broken up. It's a lot to take in. We lost so much in the blink of an eye. So you'll pray for her health, given the shade of her eyes she looks rather ill. Bow your head and offer a prayer for this hapless woman. She gazes dejectedly into her lap, looking more like a recent widow than a blushing What's bride. What's it I was thinking? It's all right. I can pray enough for the both of us. And I pray that Duna protects the souls oh, lost yeah, and there. mends the broken hearts that remain. That's why she and her new husband aren't taking comfort in each other's arms. My poor love. He knew she takes a shuddering breath and idly itches her face. You would expect oh, her cheeks to be ruddy You don't look tears. great. I have been feeling peaky lately. My darling said it was the rosy glow of a woman Is she woman okay? In but now... I think it was a warning. A sign of the massacre to come. I I think there's something... Oh, she won't even let me look at her. Grossly wrong with this woman. The woman cries on. Hmm. Hmm. Dorian Gull. Ah, you. Uh, hello? The noble-looking dwarf beckons Ifan closer. Ah. Okay. Ifan narrows his eyes, but strides over anyhow, as the dwarf gestures toward the somber group inside. Hard to believe you're looking at a wedding party, isn't it? My wedding party. He looks you over, his mouth pressed into a mirthless smirk. You seem very odd, sir. But I suppose you're no stranger to mournful faces. The Silver Fang, isn't that right? Uh, let Ifan do this, Look, I suppose. I know you're him. I know you can take care of problems, and I've got just the problem for you. A very lucrative one. I swear if the next thing he says is the killer's bride, we're going to have issues. I intend to be <laughs> a particular kind of husband, and I could use someone with your particular talents to help me achieve this. I was under the impression this was a love match. This really doesn't feel like a love match to me at all. I need you to <gasps> take care of my father-in-law and bring me his will. What? The dwarf winks in an exaggerated fashion, squeezing one eye shut so forcefully it looks like his face just swallowed an eyeball. In return, Ifan raises one eyebrow, slowly. The man you speak of is not who I am anymore, and I'll not become him again for the likes of you. Without another word, Ifan turns on one heel and strides away, leaving the aggrieved dwarf spluttering in his wake. I can't believe he just asked that. I can't believe he just asked that. <gasps> wow, he rejected Dorian Gull's contract on um, Mikhail Ross. He claimed a higher purpose, reading the world of the divine. Of a divine, sorry. Wow. That was unexpected. Okay, well, where is the the father of the if house? Ifan gives you a sheepish look, all flinty eyes the man and of the house. shoulders. That's just not the kind of business I'm interested in. Tell him once a reputation is one, it's hard to cast off. Say that it could have been a lucrative job. Tell him you're glad he's better than that. Say so you know exactly what they mean. Since it's a portrait of Nietzsche's He nods, a faraway look in his eyes. After the death fog, 
I truly thought there was no point to anything anymore. But now, after all we've been through together, I've got a new purpose. Stopping divinity. It might not work out quite, quite like you planned. Ah, uh, this doesn't seem like it's a consequence of the Void Woken. This seems something else. Why Move is that? On, please. Move on. Why is that stack of box precariously teetering? Oh, there he is, Mikhail. A well-dressed dwarf paces around the room, overseeing the packing of trunks. He doesn't look up as he addresses ah, you. Ah, that explains the chaos. I haven't looked in the garden yet, though. Yes, thank you for coming. Indeed, it would have been a beautiful ceremony, if only... But again, who summoned the Void Woken? And there's something off about your daughter. The dwarf trails off as he takes in the sight of Beast. His face goes from soft to stern, and your dwarven companion looks to you for guidance. Ah, go for it. That's what the game seems to want. Marcus Miles, you should get out of here. Go back to the high seas and sing your shanties and do whatever else your band of brigadiers does. We'll all be better off. Come now, Ross. Is that any way to talk to a distinguished member of the royal family? Heh. You're no royal. Not anymore. A beast you were and a beast you remain. There's only one reason you'd come to Arx. You're looking for Justinia. Heed my advice and leave this place before you do something stupid. Look, I can't change the past, and I'm sure as hell not going to apologise for it. But Justinia's in trouble. Big time. And if anyone can talk some sense into her, it's me. He peers into Beast's eyes, looking for a sign of honest intent, and, satisfied, his face softens. When the crackdowns and decrees came, I defended her. But when she exiled you, I joined in the applause. But this new plan of hers, I want to believe I do, but death... Ah, oh, he knows about the death fog already. So it's not right, Marcus. She's tuned me out. Well, she's tuned everyone out. Everyone but that advisor of hers, that is bail. Her quacking all but drowns us out. She's holding court in the sewers, if you can believe it. Ah, this is another summer. way to get to the sewers. Pull out the vintage called Lula Bell. It will open the way for you. I thought I was just manually going through to find the sewers. You're actually leading me there. I don't know what Justinia's endgame is, Marcus. Neither do I. But I don't want to be anywhere near when it begins. All right. Follow instructions. <laughs> Follow instructions. <laughs> okay. The news Lula Bell's wine to enter the sewers. The secret lies somewhere beyond. Confront Queen Justinia. Are we not going to tell him about the fact that his son-in-law wants him dead? That kind of seems like a pretty pivotal thing to talk about. A well-dressed dwarf paces swiftly around the... Yes, thank you for safe home. He quickly turns away and casts a worried gaze around the room, counting something on his fingers. Note the open trunks and piles of clothes littering the room and ask if he's pecking for a trip. You already know how close the danger is. If it all goes to hell, I don't plan on being anywhere near this place. The shame it ought to be cut short by the attack. Oh, he'd woken. At a wedding. Oh, it's too ghastly to contemplate, and yet it happened right here. My poor darling girl. Now, if you'll pardon me, as I'm sure you can imagine, I have terribly many affairs to tend to. Such chaos to write in the wake of this disaster. What could have lured the void work in here? I appreciate your concern. But I'm sure you understand I'm quite overcome at the moment. Be sure to close the doors. And if I may, the city's in quite my advice. Be brief. Yes. Uh. Hurry it along. Okay, I can't even tell him that his son-in-law wants to kill him. Oh, hello. Lula Bell. How You've are you? You've come to serve, yes? Excellent. Bring me my <coughs> slippers. Chop, chop. Cross your fingers behind your back and bow. Yes, whatever the missus wants. Do hurry. My hooves are shivering from the chill. Dear God. You lot are weird. Let's just leave, shall we? This place is, is creepy. I don't like these people. They are weird. Wait, how do I get to your wine cellar? I, I don't actually know how to get there. Is there something here that I'm missing? I'm trying to figure out where this is. 
Merchant cellar. Oh, there. Totally missed it. Well, I'm going to check out um, the outside first, the garden. Because I only saw whoop. Oh, God, there are a lot of dead people. So much death on such a lovely day. Oh, nice little battle location. Am I about to get into a battle? I don't even know it. Ew. Carriage chest key. Which carriage would that be? Oh god. There's a lot going on over here. Letter sewers key. Even though I've already got. Wait, why do you have a sewers key? That's a little suspicious. Oh, this is your wedding cake! What a shame. Ah! They're alive. They're alive. And they look hostile. Oh ho ho! Mr. Toymaker, sir. Somebody's in trouble. Oh, these things don't exactly have much in the way of uh, strength. I had a feeling that that would happen. Oh, I had a ranged attack. Whoops. They're just going to continually explode on us, aren't they? Or we're just going to attack them and deal with the fire. You're fine. You really have difficulty with distance, don't you? Fiery over here. Yeah. Sorry, beast. I don't wanna. You know, it probably would have just gone away. Happening out here? Oh, sorry. Haven't we seen enough tragedy today? The guard pauses as he takes you in. You brace yourself for an attack, but he either doesn't recognize the infamous beast, or he doesn't care. Tell him about the ambush and ask where the cake came from. He considers the wreckage surrounding the X cake. Understanding dawns. That cake, it came from the doctor, with a letter of congratulation. It was truly a magnificent sight, but the wedding was cut short before we could even slice it. Void woken, sabotage, bad cake. You'd think someone had it in for our little lady. Indeed. Few have seen his face, and no one knows his name. He corresponds only by messenger. The townspeople seldom speak of him. Which is strange now that I think of it. He'll open your belly and fill it with jelly. The doctor is in, the doctor is in. He'll rip off your toes and shove them up your nose. The doctor is in, the doctor is in. That is a very charming rhyme. Heard a kid singing that the other day. Her mother heard it too, and beat the poor tyke senseless. <laughs> that was funny, I have to admit. <laughs> Gotta take your entertainment where you can when you're on duty. Yeah. There is little to tell. He's just the doctor. Okay, where is he? It's easiest if I show you. Oh, Let hells yeah. He shakes his head you and mark that bad as he boy identifies the doctor's home on your map. Thanks. If there was ever a house that was haunted, well, that's the one. They say almost no one gets in, and those who do, never come out. Perhaps he feeds them cake, hmm? Indeed. Can't say I blame you. I don't want to appear disloyal, but as dwarfen weddings go, this one had a tad more blood than usual. A tad. <laughs> okay, so where have you marked it on my map? Ah ha ha! The next building along. Oh, is this the church? I don't really have anything for this building. So I can only assume that that's what it is. Hmm. 
Well, that sucked. <laughs> I just wanted to see the cake and that happened. God damn it. Yeah, okay, let's go. I don't know where this carriage is, though. Oh. Oh god, what are you doing? Hmm. Well, the door is open from the other side. First wedding I've missed it. Yeah, I can just go around manually. Why waste a lockpick on that? Holy Book of Matrimony. Yeah, let's uh, steal that. Seems smart. Oh, this building doesn't... Oh, I thought this building was attached. It's not. Oh, but I can... Oh, I can't go around. I can't see it to go around. Try it. Um, this place just got a little more crowded. The spirit of a dwarven attendee attempts to discreetly sip from a goblet of spectral wine he stashed beneath him. The spirit of an elven dignitary remains seated in a pew. Alrighty, in we go. They're still sitting on the pews. I was hired to guard a wedding. Nobody said anything about fighting monsters. True that. Uh, do I want to go down? Um, I would like to go to another level first. That's if you could arrange that game. Nope, no XP for getting to the cellar. Okay. I suppose maybe when we get to the uh the the the, the, the sewers it might give me the XP. Pops not. Oh god. Coin purse. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. There is so much going on here. Countess, Squirrel Dukes, Acorn Wine, Grievous Chianti Reserve, Chianti? Mm. Fast Bucks Premium Tonic Wine, Rob Jam Berry Wine, Casa de Gigi Sparkling Wine, Chateau Flaminia the 31st, Safa's Dream Wine, Donna's Supper Wine, 1485, Simple Dwarven Cider, Lilabelle Honey Wine, which is the one we need, 1218 AD, Ardakin Ancient Empire, Chateau Haris, Hari? <laughs> Porcentius? Don't know. Thirding Year Vintage Wine. Whoopsies. Kathleen's Plum Wine, 1489. Akeem's Robust Brew. Medius's, Marius's Unending Wine Bottle. Darius Finest Red Wine. Press and Reserve. Black Peak Honey Wine, 1194. Mez Malbec. I don't know if that's how you pronounce that. Finest Dessert Wine. And Thalus Vintage Rot Gut. We want the... Little bells. Up and over. Let's go, team. Let's get into them sewers. Come on, XP, 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 sewers. XP. Nope, no XP. That vile stench doesn't deceive me. <sighs> I really wanted to level, but I guess Queen it wasn't Justine to be. Queen Justine is down here somewhere. And that Thieves Guild, too. Yeah, I totally forgot about the Thieves Guild. Where's Justinia? Oh, we don't have to tor tor. Oh, I don't have the name. Damn. Yeah, they're big tomorrow. Tomorrow. 